In this video, we are going to talk about using the DHCP options method to migrate from enterprise to MPP firmware. This method we are going to discuss can be used for bulk deployment for either WebEx calling or Broadworks or other third-party call control. Now, a license upload is not required when migrating to WebEx calling since you can use the WebEx Control Hub migration tool, but you do require a license upload when migrating to Broadworks or third-party call control. And so you will be able to go to this tab and choose the ability to upload your licenses having once procured them through the license and registration portal. So let's go ahead and get started. Depending upon our desired call control, we're going to select the overview tab underneath either WebEx calling or Broadworks other third-party call control. So I'll select this for now and then we will scroll down to the migration method. And here we have three options. I'm going to choose the bulk migration with DHCP. And the first thing that we need to do is clear the trust list so that we can upgrade it. And then we will choose the DHCP option 150 or we can choose DHCP option 66 and then here where it says DHCP option 160 this is depending upon whether or not our target call control is Broadworks or other third-party call control this string will include the GDS by contrast if we were to go back to overview underneath WebEx calling and then choose migration method bulk migration using DHCP and scroll down we would then see that this text is identical except for this string where it says EDOS under the DHCP option 160. So we're going to show two examples here. The first is configuring DHCP options for WebEx calling and then we'll show how to do it with Broadworks or other third-party call control. So I'm logged into a Cisco router. You can of course use a third-party DHCP server but just for this example I'm going to use a Cisco device. So first thing I do is I find my DHCP scope. So there's my DHCP scope. I then enter that and then you would then make the decision to use option 150 or option 66. Both are valid with option 150 you'd use IP address. In this example we're going to do option 66. So enter option 66 and then we choose ASCII and then we use cloudupgrader.webex.com. Next, I will do option 160. It'll be ASCII again, and then we would enter the string that is appropriate for WebEx calling. And again, this contains the word EDOS. So let's take another look at it. Here you can see the relevant configuration for option 66 and option 160 on a Cisco iOS router. So we've looked at how to configure this for WebEx calling. What we're showing here is how you would configure it for Broadworks or other third-party call control. Again, the main difference here in the option 160 string is the GDS instead of EDOS in that string. And again, we did option 66 for the cloudupgrader.webex.com. You could also do option 150 with the appropriate IP address if your router supports that. Now that we've done this, let's go ahead and see what is happening on our phone. It is going to upgrade. So I have sped this process up because it takes four or five minutes. So my phone is going to reboot and 
it basically tells the phone to display an activation code screen. So the migration is complete and this is a sign of success. You will see your phone registered if you use the WebEx Control Hub migration tool or you will see an activation code prompt if you converted using the license uploaded on Cloud Upgrader. And at this point, you can access the web UI of the phone and configure it with the appropriate settings of the third-party call control system. Thank you.